All right, welcome to the Super Coach Show. Bingo. Brock Patterson, at Brock Patterson with me today. I'm at Michael Burt, and I am the Super Coach. And let me tell you what we believe here at the Super Coach. If you're out there watching us on Wit Nation, Grant Cardone's exclusive network, we come into you live all over the country right now. We're here in Tennessee. Every Tuesday we're going to come to you, and we're going to do three things, Brock. We're going to talk to you about multiplying your life. That's right. Multiplying your money and multiplying your business, right? Do it. And we believe one hour can change your life. We believe this one hour can have a transformative effect on your life. And you don't need just need a coach in life. We believe everybody needs a coach in life, but you don't just need any coach. You need a super coach. And that is a cross between a former championship coach who has an entrepreneurial mind. And I guarantee you, in this 45 minutes every single week we come to me, we're going to find the kryptonite in your life. That's the one thing that's holding you back from getting to superhuman levels. I'm Michael Burt, the super coach. You can follow me at Michael Burt, M-I-C-H-E-A-L, because everybody needs a coach in life. You can follow at Brock Patterson, part Jerry Maguire, That's right. part Don King, there you go. part Jack Welch. You can follow <laughs> him at Brock Patterson on Twitter. We're going to come into your life every single week with a hot topic that's very, very pertinent to you. And today's topic is one I'm deeply passionate about because this really happened in my life. Absolutely. And, yeah. and I don't want to bring a bunch of garbage to people. I want real things that people can get because I know there's one thing, Brock, that people are interested in, and it's growth. 100%. They're, they're obsessed right. with growth, Yes, fanatical growth. They want more money. They want more exposure. They want more profit. More than anything, they want more freedom. That's right. They want more freedom in their life. What people don't know is what vehicle they're going to use to achieve these things. They don't know how they're going to get there. They know what they want, but they don't know how to get there. And so today I'm going to tell you the actual story and the exact steps that you can take to turn 7500 bucks, which is the seed money that I had when I started my business in 08, <laughs> and quickly, within just a few years, oh, yeah. turn it into $750,000. And that's the title of today's show, From 7500 to $750,000. Because I know a lot of people out there are wondering you know, how I went from a high school basketball coach oh, yeah. to this entrepreneur, to this coachypreneur, to the super coach, which I am today. Tell and, us the and, journey. But here's the deal. Yeah. There are pertinent steps right. every person can take out there. And now I'm looking back on it. You know, when I wrote the book, The Anatomy of Winning, which is my fourth book, I didn't write the book until after I had won a, a, a women's basketball championship. Mm. Then I looked back and I said, here are the exact steps that I took to get us to a championship right. level. I right. could not have written that book, Brock, until I made the journey. Right. I couldn't tell people how to right. win a championship until I, I'd done it, right? Yeah. And so today, and I want to tell you the story. I want to give you the five steps that I think are very pertinent to you to take you to these superhuman levels that we want to get you to. In 2008, I was a high school women's basketball coach here in the state of Tennessee for the people watching nationally at one of the largest high schools, right? Right. I decided that I wanted more. Mm. I wanted more. I was hungry. Right. I was, I was, I was very hungry for more out there in the world, more time, more money, more freedom, and more fun. Right. I had $7,500 of seed money in the bank that I would set out by the journey to transfer this $7,500 to $750,000. Mm. Now, throughout the show, there's five big things I want you thinking about. Five key words that I want you thinking about <laughs> throughout the whole show. Right. Number one, voice. Mm. How do you find your talent and your passion that intersect with a need in the world that only you can fulfill. Right. That's the first step. Till we find it, you can't give away what you don't possess. Until you find this, you're going to really right. struggle. There's no multiplication of anything. Number two, I had a realization. And the realization that I want you, the viewer, to get is you have transferable skills of people who would write you the largest mm. check. We got to start thinking. It takes as much time to do a small deal as it does a big deal. That's right. You have transferable skills. That's the second thing. Three, action. You got to get off the fence and get started. You know, I had nope. somebody that wants to, wanted to speak, uh, and, I, and I had a speaking engagement for him today, and, and then they said, well, I just, I don't know if I can take it. I don't know if I'm ready for it. Mm. And I get it. I right. get it. But when you get an opportunity, guys, you have to take action. Not a little bit of action. A lot of action, okay? Number four, once you take action, you know what's going to happen? Then you got to recalibrate. Right. Then you got to recalibrate. Every single day when we go out and try something that don't work, we recalibrate. Yes. And, and then you got to understand hunger and leverage because one of the things mm. 
you're going to have to figure out in your life is how to eventually scale your business. Right. And that's really where yeah. we are today. Yes. Scaling this business, scaling my business out there in the world. Voice, realization, action, recalibration, and hunger and leverage. Now, Powerful. Brock, you're out there every single day right. fighting a good fight. Yeah. Talking to people. Yes. Trying to really help people get to this. Next. Which one of these five steps do you think are the hardest for people to get? The, I think the first one that you said, voice, is is probably critical. You know, Shakespeare wrote in Henry the Sixth, Part Two. He said uh, in the play, "You must now speak, Sir John Falstaff, fair, which swims against your stream." Mm -hmm. And so, a lot of people are going to be faced with, you know, their friends, their family are going to tell them that they're crazy to launch yeah, this yeah. new side yeah. hustle, which is what you did. Yes. You know, you were a high school basketball coach. You wanted to be a speaker, author. You were swimming against the current early, and so I think. A lot of people, you, you really, you're going to have to swim upstream. Look at what you're going to get. Resilience, perseverance. Uh, you're going to get stronger. Just for doing that, I think voice is critical. And when you find this voice, the, the feedback you're going to get from people is going to be brutal. Right. If When I figured out, and, and it really this was, this was the voice realization. Right. On a beach in Destin, Florida, with 12 of my friends, <laughs> 25 years old, Guys and girls out there having fun doing what 25 year olds, something came over me, man. Something came over and said, right. You need to take action. You need to write a book. And I wrote a small book called Changing Lives Through Coaching because mm -hmm. I believe a good coach can change your life. A good super coach can change your life. Well, when I wrote that book for the next three days, all I did was take pen and paper and I, I hand wrote it. Right. I mean, I wrote it out longhand, Monocle, which, is, yeah. which never yeah. happens. Right. I got back. You can't imagine when I published that book, the kind of resistance that I faced from the people closest to me. Friends and family. My own friends. Yes. Uh, oh, there's Mr. Motivational oh. Speaker. There's <laughs> Mr. Book Writer. Right. Because at that point, I hadn't won a championship. I didn't have proof of concept. At that point, I wasn't at the level I am today. Mm -hmm. And I had to fight through that criticism. If you hear Cardone talk yeah. about it, first you get attention, and I did with the book. Second, you get criticism. Right. Right. Then you get haters. Then you get admiration. And I, I really believe that. I didn't know those four steps at that time, but I do today. So when you think about this, the first thing I did is I went against the grain, mm -hmm. like you talked Swimming about. Against the and I That's went right. out there and I took this thing to market and I wrote a book called Change Your right. Lives Through Coaching. At that point, when I wrote that book, now I got two skills. This is very important for the viewer. Is now I'm not just a coach with one skill of coaching. Now I'm a coach and I'm an author. Mm. And when I wrote that little book, Dale Computers, a uh, manager at Dale got a hold of it and, and asked me to come speak at Dale Computers. And I went down and spoke for an hour. Right. I got done. They said, man, we really enjoyed this. Will you come back? I'm like, no, no, no. I'm trying to win a championship. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, here's your paycheck. And I'm like, you going to pay me to, to, to come speak? To just to come in and motivate your people? They're like, right. oh, yeah. And I looked at that paycheck and it was more in an hour. Than I made in a whole year of coaching. Side hustle, baby. The more in an hour. Yeah. And I said, damn, I'll be back every 15 minutes, man. Y'all need me to motivate the that's night right. crew? So my point was, that's a realization, guys, that I had about voice. Mm -hmm. Voice, for the viewer, is at the intersection of your passion, that's what you love to mm -hmm. do, and your talent, that's what you're good at doing, and a need in the world that you can fulfill. It is the intersection, right. right? And when you find this, you are off to the races. You're going to go wild because people are going to be hungry for this. So the first real step, the first key takeaway is this. Look back into your past, mm -hmm. right? Look back into your past and begin to ask yourself what transferable skills right. I have and who would compensate me for those skills. I didn't know it, but I began to speak out sure. on the circuit elementary school things, rotary clubs. I call it the chicken, the rubber chicken circuit, right? <laughs> and one guy one night came up to me and said, you can make a lot of money on the circuit and impact a lot of people. That is the journey to voice. And we come back in the second segment, we're going to talk about collision, how to see the trend in a business and be the first one on the front end of a brand new trend. A brand new trend. You're watching the Super Coach Show with Coach Michael Burt, the Chief Optimizer, Brock Patterson legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market you see i got a new coaching program and i'm looking for people who want to have a monster year 
once a month coaching program for three hours with other like-minded monsters in a structured environment with key measurable outcomes and lots of accountability. You see, the monster coaching program is coming and we've already got 22 monsters signed up. Will you be in the class? Are you somewhere else in the country? No worries. We'll be live streaming this with workshops every month online. You can come into Murfreesboro, Tennessee, where our monsters will be every single month for three hours. We also have two, count them, two destination summits, one in New York City in April and one in Cabo San Lucas in the fall and then a big celebration. If you're interested in being a monster, come on and join us. You get the Monster Producer Planner, you get the book, you get the app, and you get me coaching the heck out of you to be a legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market in 2015. Go to monsterproducer.com. 2015 is... Welcome back to Super Coach Show. We multiply your life, multiply your money, multiply your business every single Tuesday exclusively here at Wit Nation. Grant Cardone, my boy, the 10X... Bandit Big driving dollar. me around in a Rolls Royce <laughs> last week. Hey, we didn't have no Rolls Royces in Woodbury, Tennessee. No. But it was a good experience Prime to be down there with Grant. Uh, I'm, I'm thrilled and honored to be on the Whatever It Takes right. Network. You can watch us every week, 3 p.m. Uh-huh. Eastern Time at the Wit Nation Super Coach. We come to you every week to do three things. Multiply your life, your money, and your business to what? Superhuman levels. You just don't need a, a good coach in life. You need a super coach. And that's what we're talking about today, right. how I took 7,500 bucks. I almost want to say 750 bucks. It'd be a better story Probably if I took like 750. Right? $7,500 and turned it into $750,000 over really a, a pretty short period of time, Brock. Yeah. So throughout the show, we were talking about these, these key words you got to understand. First, you got to find your voice at the intersection mm-hmm. of your talents and your passion and your conscience. And this is a big one. With a need in the world that can drive your economic engine. Mm, powerful. And you and I have had lots of discussion yeah. about this. Yeah. Because you have certain unique abilities. Mm-hmm. But you have found yeah. that, that not every unique ability can be monetized. Correct. So, Correct. so when a person out there, the regular person out there in the world says, man, I get it. I'm buying what Coach Bird's selling. Find my voice, right? Yeah. Many people have never found it. There's no classes in school in finding it. That's why you need a good coach to help mm-hmm. you. When you went out there and 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 found your some of your talents, but you figured out you couldn't monetize them, was it was it depressing? Was it did it did it hurt your feelings? I mean, what did you do then? Yeah, you you're going to talk about it. You have to recalibrate or refit what you're using. I you know I didn't stop using my unique abilities or my unique talents. I didn't stop leveraging those, but I found other avenues. I looked for other ways that, that there could be potential to monetize. You know, I did give them, give them away, just like, you know, you did mm-hmm. the churches and the rotary clubs. Mm. So I gave things away for free, and then I just recalibrated to figure out, you know, who is that potential target market that has a need for what I offer? And eventually I found that, and uh, which is what I'm doing for you, which is going out and being at Jerry Maguire, show me the money. Mm-hmm. But I think you can't get frustrated because there's what seven point five billion. Seven point five billion yeah. people on the planet. And Brock's role for the for the new viewer out there is Brock is really my agent, and so all he does all day long is work deals, negotiate, get a speaking engagement, which uh, speed up the velocity of a sale because we want to generate leads by pushing out to the market, bring those leads in, and turn those over to somebody who knows how to do that. That's what Brock does. Follow him at Brock Patterson. Now, I, I think about this for the viewer that's out there. You don't have a talent problem. I, I want to get this right up front and very, very clear. You don't have a talent problem. What you've got may be a confidence problem. And that's why I wrote the book Swag, Six Battle-Tested right. Strategies. That is really a part of the equation here. You ain't got a talent problem, guys. You may have a confidence problem. Mm-hmm. So for me, step two, once I found my voice, that's really step one, yeah. is you got to find your voice at the intersection of these things. Step two is you really have to understand, I call it a collision. Mm-hmm. And the collision was what I saw between business and sport and sport and business. I really figured out that I had a unique um, offering mm-hmm. that crossed over. Right. I said more people in the boardroom need people who know how to motivate like a coach. Right. More people on the on the sports field need more of a CEO. They need that cross, right? And that was a collision. So I saw a collision going through. Now, around this time, I'm 25 years old. I write this little book, Changing Lives Through Coaching, my first of 10 books. I don't have any idea what the hell I'm really doing <laughs> other than coaching and winning, right? right? right. Now I'm speaking. Now i got different skills. Now I'm a coach. 
Now, I'm an author. People are asking me to speak. Now, I've got three skills. Now, that's important to multiple flows of income. And I take a course called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People with Stephen Covey. Right. I didn't have $2,500, guys, to, to buy the course. I went to my own mother. God, God bless her. Mm-hmm. And I said, Mama, I don't have enough money to go to this course. Will you loan me the money? And she loaned me the money. I took the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People course. Changed my life, man. It changed my life because now when I went back, I was a blend between a coach and an entrepreneur. Sure. And I Religion. said, I will vow to always teach these seven habits to all of my players. See, now I had my vehicle. Mm-hmm. Now I had my framework. So one of the things you got to do on this collision, Brock, is you got to extract things from over here and you got to bring them over here. So step one was I got to find my voice. Step two is I got to study the market. Right. And I got to find the trends. Right. I got to start extracting things from over here to over here. So, so here's here's really what you're looking for. What are the trends in your industry you can capitalize on? Right. Mine was speaking and coaching, and I said the whole world's got a motivation problem. Right. Where a motivate yeah. needs to move. Right. And so I said, here's what I got to do. They call it look out, look in, move on. So right now, if you're out there saying, how do I take this seed money? First thing I need to do is a market analysis. Right. I need to look out, yeah. see what other people are doing. I need to look in. Because at first, I was just a miniature Stephen Covey. Yeah. I was a miniature right. Stephen Covey. Now, what's your philosophy? My philosophy is study one person and take it deep. I mean, yeah. study it as deep as you can. Is your philosophy to study one person, or is it to study multiple people? Because a lot of people ask me this. Yeah, and, and it works. But see, with, with you, you, you like to study. You're a mastery person. And a lot of our viewers are people that want to be masters of, of whatever it is in their industry. Mm-hmm. And I found for me, I like to be a little bit uh, versatile in my learning. So I've studied a lot of different gurus. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, so and I think it helped because I've got a, a, a unique skill set that uh, helps me be a Jerry Maguire, Don King, uh, Jack Welch type. And for you, I think, you know, people like you that want to master it, you dig all the way in, you learn the content, forwards and backwards, you can recite it, regurgitate it, do whatever you want to, and then you move on to the next guru, which is what you do. Yeah, right? and I think when it comes to the gurus, guys, because we're talking about how you make this jump, how I made this jump from 7500 mm-hmm. to 750000 First, I found my voice, right? right? I knew what I was supposed to be doing mm-hmm. with my life, which a lot of people hadn't found. And you ain't going to make 750000 bucks <laughs> if you don't know what the hell you're doing. That's number one. Then I saw a trend. Yes. Okay. Then I started growing my skills, first coaching, mm-hmm. and I had to be a winning coach for people to listen to me. Sure. I couldn't walk in and say, man, this guy lost more games than anybody in the world. Hear now you should now. listen to him. Yeah. Right? I hire him right now. <laughs> I hire him. I had to win games. <laughs> I had to dominate my first market, which right. was coaching. Yeah. Then I started packaging my intellectual property into books, into speaking, into writing. And this is a big mm-hmm. hang-up for most of the people out there in the market, is that they have the goods but they have not packaged it up. You can see all the packaging that we have. We have books, CDs, DVDs, online courses, online memberships, online programs. We got Monster Producer mugs. We're going to have Coach Burt We got licensing. We got Coach Burt boxer shorts, (laughs) Super Coach boxer shorts. Here's my point. Once you got it up here, the big gap is how do you take it and package it. So step two is see the collection. So, so, So three skills in one. Now here's my question to you. How do you find a home? In essence, who will compensate you for those skills in the market? And there's really four things I think people need to do today. Number one, they need to fix a broken system. Yes. And yep. there's all kinds of broken mm-hmm. systems out there. If you can come in and say, I can fix this problem, that's one. Number two, they need to solve a big problem either for the masses or for the niches. Yeah. You solve a problem for the masses or for the niches. Number three, become an immediate asset. Immediate asset. Walk in on day one and say, here's I'm going to solve the problem and add and create some unique value that nobody else can create. You Think unique and proprietary. Be a zebra, baby. Look different than everybody else. Be a cheetah. Run faster than everybody else. When we come back in segment number three, here's what we're going to talk about. How do you mm. package and sell your special? You're watching 7,500 to 750,000 <laughs> Right here on the Super Coach Show with Coach Michael Burke. Come on back in segment three. Everybody needs a good coach in life. And let me tell you, one of the best things we've ever created. And that's our legacy selling system. You see, 95% of the people I coach, business owners, 
sales professionals, sales managers do not have a selling system. They don't go on the attack every week. They're retreating and contracting every week because they don't have something to say. They don't have a group of people to go after. See, I teach 14 to 20 different strategies in conjunction in a coordinated, systematic approach to build your business. This selling system is is really intended to do one thing. Build qualified leads, drive deeper networks, and close more deals. People using our system has grown their business. Some people over 100% in a one-year cycle. We used it in our own company to build our business over 40% this year. Come January 23rd and 24th, I'm going to be licensing this to sales managers, sales professionals, small business owners. Come to Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Spend two days with me, and I'll teach you the ins and out of this system, complete with the quick read books, the videos, the PowerPoints, the handouts. You can go back and teach your troops, and you can build your business in 2015 to mega levels with the Legacy Selling System. Join me. January 23rd to 24th in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Email info at coachbert.com for a free consultation. Welcome back to the Super Coach Show. Right here we multiply your life, multiply your money, multiply your business. You can follow me at Michael Burt, M-I-C-H-E-A-L, because everybody needs a coach in life. Follow Brock Patterson at Brock Patterson. You can listen to this show on iTunes. Yes, sir. You can watch it at Wit Nation, W-I-T-Nation.com. It's Grant Cardone's new... uh, New baby that he's created. Turned out to be a pretty big monster. We're there, baby. We're glad to be on Grant's network. Good friend of mine. Appreciate Robert and all the folks down there. Sherry Hamilton in Miami Beach. Uh, They all sexy. They all wear skinny (laughs) jeans. Grant's got the slick back hairdo, man. I said, if I had hair like yours, man, I'd be making millions and millions (laughs) and millions of dollars. But we come to you every single week. You can follow me at CoachBert.com. You've seen some of the things we're doing. We've got a new program called MonsterProducer.com where we engage you in a set of systematic and consistent behaviors with other like-minded monsters who want some key measurable outcomes. That meets once a month online Mm -hmm. or in person. we got some Australia. That's right. Monsters. Yes. James Tarbuck Mail. That's right. Shout out to you out there. We got some folks in North Carolina, South Carolina, Clayton Whitaker, Dealer Capital Services, Burt Brooks, and all of our friends in the Monster Producer. Freaking we also monsters. got the licensing of Legacy Selling, yeah. which plays soon. into yes. what we're talking about. Yeah. Is that now that we found our voice, step one, this is seven seventy five hundred to 750000 This is how I did it. First, I won a lot in coaching, dominated my first vertical. People start asking me, what are you doing to win, right? I said, hey, I'll put it in books. So then I started writing books. Then I took the books and started speaking. Speaking fees kept going up because you got to deliver the goods when you bring it. You got to have something to say. Having something to say is Mm -hmm. just as important as having somebody to say it to. Let me say that again. Having something to say is just as important as having somebody to say it to. Tweet that out. We done blew Twitter up today. It ain't even working. Let's go. So at Michael Burt, tweet that out. Now, think about this. So then once I got a message, Mm -hmm. once I got a platform in writing books, now step three of this this leap to multiplying this money is packaging all of this Mm -hmm. stuff up, developing and packaging your intellectual property. Now, intellectual property is what's up here. Right, Brock? Right. That's right. Which can be packaged. Give the viewer some examples of how you can package up intellectual property. I mean you can you can package training manuals, you can package up your, you know, your logo, your branding, uh, a book, uh, marketing material collateral. I mean you can package up just about any idea that you have and package it up. But the problem is a lot of people have this great idea, but their packaging looks it's like going to a five dollar goodwill. Yeah, you you million dollar player yeah. wearing a five dollar sweater, man. Yeah. Packaging yeah. is this. Anything the consumer or the market can see, touch, feel, look at, this is packaging. Mm-hmm. Anything the consumer can look at, feel, touch, see. Your look has to do with your packaging. Your branding has to do with your packaging. Mm-hmm. Your office has to do with your packaging. And so what you got to understand is we started to package up this intellectual property. Right. And the intellectual property for me started off as books, books to handouts, Handouts to marketing. Then we went from books to events. Then we went events to ongoing coaching. Mm -hmm. And so people used to ask me, what do you do, coach? And I said, well, I speak, I coach, I train, and I lead. And we had four profit mechanisms, okay? I speak, I coach, I train, and I lead, okay? We have since built this platform out. Further. To now we have radio, 
We have a reality TV show called Zebras and Cheetahs. You can just go to uh, go to my YouTube channel, Coach Michael Burt. Watch the show Zebras and Cheetahs or at CoachBurt.com. We have this show, The Super yes. Coach. We bring in good coach, bad licensing. coach. We, we've got licensing. Yes. We've got products from mugs to shirts to planners, all kinds of programs. We've it. got Absolutely. planners in the Monster Producer Planners. This is something new that we've created uh, because I wanted a planning system that married to our system. So here's what I want you to think. I got to take what's up here, and I got to get it down to something I can sell. And trust right. me, it's not hard to create a product, guys. It's not. You think it's hard to create a product? It's not hard to create a product. We got to package our intellectual property. So, so let me give you some examples. Here's some. Here's some processes you could sell or packaging. We got BMWs. Right? Mm -hmm. Got two BMWs. One for me, one for now. I got a black one. I got a white one. You'll know it's me because the license plate says a zebra. Look different, right? Well, we go to the BMW place. We spend $70,000 a vehicle on these vehicles, right? Right. And the guy selling me the BMWs is one of their top salespeople. I'm like, are you the top salesperson? He's like, yes. I'm like, if I could help you double the amount of cars you could sell in a day, would it be valuable to you, right? Always be oh, close. yes, <laughs> absolutely. So here's what I said. You need to take this process that's like six steps yeah. and eight hours, and you need to turn it into three steps and two hours. You could double the amount of production. So when you think of packaging, think giving things, number one, unique names. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we wrote the book Person of Interest. That's a person that's interesting to the market. Right. Zebras and cheetahs. We could have said, look different and run faster. Yeah. But we said zebras and cheetahs because a zebra looks different. A zebra runs faster. A cheetah runs faster. We could have said uh, a course in confidence on swag, but we called it right. swag, right? So my point to you is we have got to take what's up here in your mind, and we have got to start packaging right. this stuff up where the market can consume it, right? And, and so why is this so freaking hard for people? I mean, I don't understand it, it, if you if you can think it, yeah. you can do it. I think right. Walt Disney said it, and yeah. I believe that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I wanted a new planner, so I just created sure. a new planner. We manufacture them. We sell them like crazy. We've almost sold out of the first round. You can get yours at CoachBert.com. It wasn't hard other than taking a piece of paper and drawing up what, what I wanted. Why is this so hard for people? First off, I think a lot of people think that it's this uh, six-month to a year process to get something uh -huh, done. Uh -huh. Number one, they don't know who to call to do some of their creative work, and really... You know, you just need to find somebody else that's done it, ask them who they've used, get a couple of referrals, and start calling people. Yeah. Just start getting prices, start getting quotes, and really just layer it on together. And before you know it, you have a new planner. You have a new system. You have a new book. So I think a lot of people get crippled in that whole situation where they think, oh, my gosh, this is 12 months. It's it's a wild experience, and I, I can't do it. Now, I want to give a shout-out to my man, Matt Monero. I was on the phone with him this morning. Follow him at Matt Monero. Sharp guy, yes. running a hundred million dollar company plus, and he said something I'll never forget. I got to share with the viewers. We were talking about a lot of people think the first step is the hardest. Like mm -hmm. you ask people, yeah, what's the? And I asked people in my workshop this morning, which was sold out by the way. I said, what do you think is the hardest step? Every person in the room said the first step, right? Just get started. Monero actually said this: it ain't the first step that's the hardest; it's the second step and the third step. And the fourth step. You, you follow what I'm right, saying? Right. So, so here's the deal. Yeah. And I want to demystify this. We've got 10 books out in the market, and every one of those started either on a piece of paper or on an iPad. Right now, I sit down and write my books out on an iPad. I then send it to a graphic designer who lays it out. I give her a vision of what I want the book to look like. She takes it to a printer, and the next thing you know, we got books. Right. We turn around and buy those books at a price, and then turn around and sell them at a profit margin. Right? Now we're an yes. author. Now we're an yes. expert. Yes. So I want to demystify this for the viewer out there. Every person out there should write a book because if life's worth living, it's, wor it's worth writing down. Tweet and that. so the steps on how I took 7500 to 750000 first I figured out what my deal was. Yes. That's voice. Voice. Okay? Second, I, I saw a collision happening between business and sport, sport right. and business. Right? Third, I start packaging up what's going on in this crazy That's mind right. of mine. Yeah. Into, into intellectual property. And when we come back in the next segment, final segment, we're going to give you the final two steps. We're going to talk about how you pick a position you can own in the market, mm -hmm. how you pick a position you can own in the market, and then finally, how you can build residual or multiple flows of income. We would never have done this with one flow of income. Yeah. So we're doing it with 10 or 12 right now. We're showing you how to go from 7500 to 750000 every week 
t- Tuesday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, you're watching a Super Coach show with Michael Burt and the infamous Brock Patterson. The year of the monster. I'm talking about a legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market. You see, I got a new coaching program and I'm looking for people who want to have a monster year. Once a month coaching program for three hours with other like-minded monsters in a structured environment with key measurable outcomes and lots of accountability. You see, the monster coaching program is coming and we've already got 22 monsters signed up Will you be in the class? Are you somewhere else in the country? No worries. We'll be live streaming this with workshops every month online. You can come into Murfreesboro, Tennessee, where our monsters will be every single month for three hours. We also have two, count them, two destination summits, one in New York City in April and one in Cabo St. Lucas in the fall and in a big celebration. If you're interested in being a monster, come on and join us. You get the Monster Producer Planner. You get the book. You get the app. And you get me coaching the heck out of you to be a legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market in 2015. Go to monsterproducer.com. Welcome back to the Super Coach Show. Show so hot today, we done blew up Twitter, man. We can't <laughs> load tweets, ain't loading. How does a company worth billions of dollars go down, man, break down? I know Cardone said he wanted to blow his own side up, but he didn't want to do it on the night he released Whatever It Takes. Uh. Well, Supercoach done blown up. We done found a kryptonite at Twitter. Let's we done go. blew up Twitter. Blew we can't up. tweet. People no. can't tweet us. So if you're out there watching us, follow me at Michael Burt. We're coming to you live every single week. Follow at Brock Patterson, the optimizer, the agent to Jerry Maguire, who's out there closing my deals. If you want me to speak at anything around the country, then uh, just email us Let's in, go. info at com. I'll put you in touch with Brock. We will negotiate it with you, and we'll walk, crawl, Climb whatever we got to do. Get in the oh. Mercedes Sprinter. Uh-oh. Hey, plug out. Shameless plug for the Let's Mercedes go. folks. Get in that Mercedes Sprinter, and we will be on our way. That's right. And today we're talking how do you take seventy five hundred bucks of seed money? And it doesn't have to be seventy five hundred bucks. This is just what I. Told. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I had seventy five hundred bucks. I don't even know how I had that much. Really, is because I was a teacher. I'd put aside a little bit of money. Mm-hmm. I took this, and 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 we talk about kryptonite. Yeah. Is that part of being a super coach? Is finding the kryptonite in your life. And this is a true story. When I was coaching, uh, after I won a championship and moved on down, now I've got three books out in the market. I went to speak at a healthcare company and they liked it so much they wanted to sign me up for a one-year contract. And they said, we're going to pay you hundred and I think $144,000. That gave me confidence mm-hmm. to leave coaching, which is my first profession, and side launch into my entrepreneurial business. First step from a bureaucrat to an entrepreneur, right? So I walk in on March, on a cold day in March, and I look at my team. I get up the guts, and I retire from coaching. The one thing I've been doing since I was 15 years old, bro. This is the only thing I ever knew how to do. But now I'm writing books. Mm -hmm. Now I'm coaching. Now I'm speaking. Now I'm creating a little demand. I signed this $140,000 contract thinking I'm set, man. I got $12,000, which is double the amount I had. When I was coaching, right. coming in every single month. One week after I retired, huge in the newspapers, I retired. Why did he walk away from coaching at the top of his game? I just won a championship. One week later, the CEO of that company calls me and says, we are going to void this contract. And we lost in, a, in one conversation. I remember it like it was yesterday. Is that at Carabas in Nashville? In one conversation, I dropped seventy thousand dollars. Now I got no money. Now I got no prospects. <laughs> now I got no plan on what I'm going to do. Right. Now I'm an entrepreneur with a business with no prospects and no money coming in. So if you don't think I was battle tested from the very beginning, yeah. I was. Yeah. I was battle tested. And so for you, you got to understand what we're talking about is how to take a little bit of seed money and grow and multiply that seed money right. by first finding voice. Second, reading a trend, combining past skill sets, right? Three, packaging up yes. your intellectual Critical. property, which is important. If you mm-hmm. want to know how to do that, email us, info at coachbert.com. Then step four, I think, is picking a position. I think I, I don't think you can own a position in the market until you pick a position. Sure. You know, and, and our position is simple. Everybody needs a coach in life. Right. You are a coach, you have a coach, you don't want a coach. But you don't just need any coach. Yeah. 
you need <laughs> the super coach, right? right? Cross between a former championship coach who has an entrepreneurial mind. That's what you need. Now, Brock, the person who's out there, and I just spoke to real estate agents in Nashville, Tennessee. I guarantee you 95% of them have no position at all. Correct. Why is this so important to pick a position you can own in the market that says, this is it. This is our stake yeah, in the ground. Yeah. This is what I'm going to own and dominate in the market. Because I think you cannot, you can't, you can't be everything to everyone. Mm. You're not going to be. Uh, you know, I think the the position. I think there's a difference between having a position and having a purpose. A position is to stay put, right? We're going to stay put with everybody needs a coach in life, mm -hmm. right? However, our purpose is that we're going to change lives through coaching. Change lives through One coaching. One of the first things you ever wrote. That's right. Right? When you first started, mm -hmm. you were changing lives through coaching. And that is our purpose, but our position, you know, is everybody needs a coach in life so we can talk to realtors, mortgage bankers, we can talk to healthcare associations, entrepreneurs, small business owners, because they all need a coach. That's right. You and don't, it's crucial. You can't be everything to everybody. And you don't have to be an expert in that field to no, talk to those people, no, right? Absolutely so not. So let me give you yeah. some examples of some positions because I want you, the viewer, thinking about this. And there's some homework here. I want you to go back and think about what your position is. We have a staff member on our team, Lauren Hudgens, who's my personal assistant. She She's a single mom, two kids. She's 26 years old. She's got a position that she's working on for a book and concept called Secrets of a Successful Mom, mm -hmm. right? Se Secrets of a Successful Single Mama. Now, there's a lot of single yeah. mamas out yeah. there, right? Yeah. So she can take that to the world. That's a position. Correct. From that position, she can write a book. She can share it. She can have her own show sure. on the Burt Network. She can take it out, right? Teach classes. She can teach yes. classes. She yes. can do podcasts. She can do all of these Absolutely. things with the position. In our book, Zebras and Cheetahs, we had a position. Mm -hmm. There's never been a better time to look different and run faster in a saturated and commoditized world. Yes. With person of interest, I got a position. Do you want to chase business or attract it? To attract other people, we must become attractive, right? That's right. With swag, we got a position. Confidence is the one thing that affects everything. That's right. These are positions in the market. And once we have a position, we can now own a position, and we can share that through distribution channels. Where do we share it? Everywhere we can. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn. If you don't have your own YouTube channel, man, get out of the Stone Age, man. Get out of the Stone Age, yes, right? Yes. Seventy something thousand views oh. on our YouTube channel. Just search Coach Michael Burt. You can go there. We pump out this content every single week, and we'll drop this show right into your email yes. inbox, yes. right? And so the fourth step is what you got to pick a position. Right. Our new positions. You see it up here. Super Coach. Cross between a former championship coach and an entrepreneurial mind. And so when you think about, tell people what you believe. Give them a chance to believe it to Yes. You. Tell them why you believe it, right? Tell them what you do. Tell them how you do it. Tell them who you've done it for. Right. And just ask a simple question. Baby, if I could do it for you, what would stop us from getting started? Right. Now, let me give you the fifth and final point on the Super Coach Show today. If you're listening to us on iTunes, subscribe to the Super Coach Show. You can get this every single week. The fifth show is real simple. you got to build multiple flows of income. Amen. you got to build multiple stacks of paper. Yes. I would have never grew the company from seventy five hundred to seven hundred fifty thousand, if I just spoke. Yeah, it's a combination. If I could bring our big board in here to our studio and show you, we have about ten or twelve different right. profit centers right, right now. Okay, speaking, coaching, training, leading, radio, TV, products, endorsements. These are all. These are all yeah. profit mechanisms. Now, let me give you one piece of advice. A good plastic surgeon very rarely makes more than two point two millimeters of change. And very seldom more than seven changes. Yes. In your business this year, you can make two structural changes, mm -hmm. two small changes that will show quantum leaps in your business. For us, it was taking our workshops online right. to sell them to anybody in the world. Monster Producer, our 80 workshops we mm -hmm. do a year, that's one. Two, going on Wit Nation. We believe we get more attention. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. That's our second one. There's two or three big things we're yes. doing this year. Bringing a monster producer to market. Right. So, so look, we got three things right there that are three new programs that could generate hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. And so for you, Brock, the person watching the show, yeah, really needs to understand that they can, and I think you can dominate one vertical yes. with multiple streams. Absolutely. I hear people say, well, you got to have a side business. You got to go uh, multi-level no. marketing. You got to work it, you know, for it here. Here's what I would tell you. 
when you go in that one vertical, coaching, training, motivation, like we have, right. you can build 12 profit centers in the one vertical, right? You could build 12 in the one vertical, sure, right? 100%. So the person doesn't have to do that. Give, yeah. us one, give us one final takeaway, man, so we can get people out of here. You know, the, go find your voice. Take some time. Do a pause plus minus column, things you liked about your jobs, things you hated about your jobs. Go on a discovery. Go on a journey. Find out what makes you freaking tick. Find your voice now, right? Don't wait. Don't wait till you're 40. Don't wait till you're 50. Go find it right now. The faster you find it, the more you accelerate. You quit messing around. Remember these five things we get you out of here. Voice, you got to find it. Realization, you got transferable skills, right? You got to take action. I don't care if it's little action in an area to get you started. It's not the first step, as Monero said. It's the second and third and fourth step. Mm -hmm. You got to recalibrate, and you got to be hungry for leverage. You got to build the multiple stacks of paper the multiple flows of income. Every week we come to you 3 p.m. Eastern time on the Wit Nation, WIT Nation. Follow me at Michael Burke. Follow Brock Patterson at Brock Patterson. This is the Super Code Show. We will multiply your life, multiply your money, and multiply your business. Now go out there and be a freaking champion.